Why, hello. How are you? Yes, um, I couldn't wait to put on my big plastic hat in this weather today and come join you here. At least they have air conditioning. Can we hear it for air conditioning, please? I was trying to come up with a Muni story with air conditioning in it, but as you know, that would be very difficult. They asked me to talk about, you know, my, the bus ride that sticks in my mind the most. Uh, when I moved here, uh, I had uh, debilitating AIDS, but on, on the way to that, um, I was trying to ignore that I was ill, and uh, my testicle, yes, that's right, I'm a man, <laughs> swelled up to the size of an orange. And I went to the doctor. And the doctor said, well, you should go to General. And they stuck me on a bus. So on this bus proceeded to be my people, the homeless, the women with carts. And, um, and then there were a couple of people sleeping in the place where I was supposed to go because I was uh, injured. So I rode the bus out to General Hospital. Um, and it took about 20, 25 minutes to get there. And then I went into General, got uh, everything taken care of, left, got on the bus to go to my friend's house to recuperate, and uh, <laughs> as I got onto the bus, these two gentlemen said, hey, you're a fag. And I said, yeah, so? And then they chased me out the back, and I came running around the front, jumped on, yelled, hit it, the bus driver <laughs> shut the door, and off we went, <laughs> So that's how Muni saved my life from the bigots. <laughs> All right, so um, I was given two stories to choose from uh, for uh, what is was the best Muni review. And this story really just kind of had a community spirit in it. A, it's kind of a love story. It's, it's about relationships. It's soon to be a Hollywood movie, I believe. Um, it is written, it is a Muni review by Puck Puck, and it is called... Dearest 49 Van Ness, how are things? Dearest 49 Van Ness, how are things? I haven't seen you since the budget cuts. It's been a while, hasn't it? How's that little sister of yours, 47? Last time I saw her, she was heading to the train station. Did she make it all right? I miss seeing you two regularly. I always knew I could count on one of you for showing up when I needed. It didn't matter who, you were both close. But 49, I liked you best, as you very well know. 47, she just liked to play at Fisherman's Wharf. You were always the more responsible one. Working hard to go to City College. And you liked to hang out with me in the mission. <laughs> I know, it's too hot for you to applaud the mission, huh? <laughs> Hey, remember that time you called it an early night and left me at Oaken Market? I had to wander around those maze of streets to look for the owl. I ended up riding with drunks in the working class. I'm just going to break character here just to say that these, this review of drunks, especially, certainly has nothing to do with the reader. Okay, back character. <laughs> All right. Um, I hated you so much for that. But looking back at it now... It was really kind of funny. I'm sorry it's been so long. You know, I ended up moving to Alamo Square. I met a girl on the Fillmore. She's 22. <laughs> Young, I know. We go to the marina and hang out with Chrissy. You should come with us sometime if you can get past Fort Mason. It would be really handy. Don't worry. I know how it is. I won't hold my breath. I don't need to... I don't need to now, to now that I'm 22, after all. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm kidding. I know that's unfair. It's not your fault that you had to work with a 14. He's a hard worker, but it definitely shows. I know things aren't the same with us, but I think of you often, and I won't forget you easily, 49. You will always be my seven by seven. Thank you very much, and uh, thank you, Puck Puck, and thanks, Mimi Diaries. <laughs>